What is going on guys? So in the past, I'm in a video talking about what I buy as a minimalist. As you can imagine, it'd be things like concerts, good food, vacations, movies, outdoor events, things of that nature. In this video, I want to cover the best actual purchases of real products I've made as a minimalist. You guys will pick up on what all these products have in common and all the links below if you guys are interested. But really, this list will question you guys to see what you value yourself and what is worth your money. So in particular order, let's just hop straight into this. So first thing right off the bat is a sunrise alarm clock. Over the past few years, I've been getting more health conscious, exercising, stretching, getting enough sleep, eating healthy, all that jazz. But every day when I woke up, it felt like I got slammed by a bus. I was disoriented, groggy, and just my digestive system was messed up. It really felt like someone just ripped my soul out of my body. Like, you know when you get up at 3 a.m. to go fishing and you just don't feel right when you wake up, like everything's just kind of in limbo? That's basically how I felt every single morning. Because if I woke up at 6 a.m., 7, 8, unless I woke up naturally, then I just would feel like crap. So I somehow stumbled across a sunrise alarm clock on by someone on Reddit, and it is just a complete game changer. It's a device that uses light to gradually wake you up anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour before your alarm goes off. And then as your alarm goes off, it'll you know play some noise to actually make sure you get up. And this has now made getting up a million times easier. It's like when you got the sun coming in Sunday morning and you like sleep in, you just naturally wake up. That's how I feel. You know, the light gets your circadian rhythm right, so even though I wake up at 6 a.m. every day, I'm being gradually woken up, and I'll naturally wake up a few minutes before my alarm goes off, and just have a couple minutes to stretch, get up, and it just made my mornings amazing. In fact, I was so impressed, I made an entire video just on my experience with a sunrise alarm clock, and I'm just so glad I bought that product because it was totally worth every single penny. Now, next thing up is a single serve blender. So I was out at brunch with some coworkers a while back and we started talking about like health. And I realized that I consider myself healthy because I didn't eat unhealthy foods, not because I ate healthy foods. So to get more veggies into my day because I have never my whole life at any age liked or been forced to eat veggies, I bought a single serve blender to mix them all in and make it more edible because I would never eat them raw. And now every single day I make a smoothie made out of kale, avocado, broccoli, spinach. I recently added asparagus, cucumbers, and uh, what's the other one? Brussels sprouts. It tasted pretty good before I added the asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Now it just tastes okay. But every morning I got a 32 or like a 26 ounce cup, fill it up to the max line, put some water in there, and it's just an awesome way to kick off the day. I feel more energetic, more alert, and totally worth every single penny. Now the next thing up is weightlifting and health related accessories. So we're in the gym for the past few years and you can get in pretty tip top shape with none of this stuff. But I've noticed that with things like weightlifting belt, shin sleeves, knee sleeves, wrist wraps, wrist straps, it's made progressing faster and help build muscle faster as well. For those of you guys who don't do any weightlifting, a good example would be wrist straps. So for example, the deadlift is a compound movement where you pick a bar off the ground and put it back down. It's actually a bit more complex than that, but that's a general gist of it. Now you get to a point as you progress where your legs, your back can hold more weight on the bar, but your fingers literally can't. If you put more weight on the bar or did more repetitions, the bar would slip out of your fingers before your back and your legs would give out. So where wrist straps come in is you tie the straps from your wrist to the bar and that keeps it all in line. And that takes grip out of the equation so you can continue to pro progress and get your back and your quads stronger without worrying about your grip. Similarly with health accessories, I'm a software engineering intern and I wanna call myself a YouTuber but I make YouTube videos. And when you sit down for long periods of time, easily like 10 hours every single day, your legs start to tighten up, you deal with posture issues, you get those rounded shoulders. I have APT, which I'm working on fixing. And investing in things like foam rollers and bands have helped me tremendously in loosening my body up and keeping it going long-term without dealing with the aches and pains. I recently got one of those firm spiked foam rollers, incredibly painful, uh, but using that and a few other accessories every day has kept me loose and kept my body going in a good shape. And with the weightlifting accessories, I use those four times a week. I started my workouts all with a heavy compound lift. So those have all been used. I think it's getting to a point now where the, some of the stuff I bought a few years ago is getting so worn out, I'll need to buy new ones. Now the next thing up, which I'm sure all my channel subs saw was coming is tech. I have a lot of tech. 
besides iPhones, laptops, computers, all of that. I have an ultra wide monitor, ergonomic keyboard and mouses, Apple watches. And there's this fear right now that technology is evil, robots will take over our jobs, social media is deep learning algorithms will drive people addicted. But I really do believe technology is meant to propel humanity forward and it will meant to make our lives easier in the process. So with an ultra wide monitor, I can now have multiple tabs open and be very productive. With ergonomic mouses and keyboard, I can work for longer without getting tired. Same thing with Apple watches. I can now watch, uh, like it's more convenient for me to get information. And on top of that, it's keeping me healthy with the fitness tracking. I don't try to upgrade this tech all the time. In fact, I try to avoid that. But when I do buy it, it's the latest and greatest and it's lasted me a long time. I've gotten my money's worth out of it and it has been very useful for me. Now this next one actually surprised you guys a bit and that is skincare. I know as a guy, most guys just don't care about their skin. But the truth of the matter is people make a million judgments about you within a second, less than a second of seeing you. They see your face first and skin is like 70, 80% of your face. I got a beard so it's a little bit less, but it still makes up a good chunk of it. So it's important to take care of your skin to prevent against breakouts and slow down that aging process. I know right now, just like I'm young, you guys are probably young if you're watching this, you could do nothing, your skin would look great, but 20, 30, 40 years down the line, it won't look that great. So take care of it now and it won't look that bad in the future. But on top of that also, your skin is your largest barrier against infection. When your skin gets cracked, dry, irritated, way more prone to infection, it's a lot easier to get sick. So for the past four months, I'm using a Korean skincare routine. Even though just in general, I'm breaking out a lot more because of being in San Francisco and dealing with a ton of new stresses, being an adult, working an insane amount, I've still seen that my skin is glowing, it's healthy, and it's just nice knowing that I'm looking my best every single day. So it's nice knowing that and that my skin will age more gracefully with time. These Korean skincare products are pretty pricey, not as insane as you might think, but definitely on the higher side of the spectrum but it's definitely money well spent and you can really feel the quality difference. And last one up, which is actually kind of multiple products, is camera gear. This might come as a surprise to most of you, but I make YouTube videos. And uh, over the past year, I've been trying to increasingly make higher quality videos by investing more in the camera gear, spending more time editing and doing all that jazz. I really want the quality of my work to speak for itself. I don't mean one of those guys that is like, hey, subscribe and like the video and turn notifications like every five seconds, which is super annoying. I'm giving you guys some garbage sponsors like those Raycon earbuds. Again, I really just want the quality of my work to speak for itself. So investing in camera gear has been money well spent so far and I'm about to make some pretty big purchases in the future but I know it's gonna be all go to good use because it has been going to good use so far. So that's it guys, those are the best products I've bought as a minimalist. For the you guys have noticed these tend to be high quality products, a bit more expensive as you'd expect, but I don't think my money's worth out of them because I use them every single day, if not very often. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it gave you guys some food for thought about what matters in your life and what's worth spending your own hard earned money on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week.